Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. If you're just getting started with OS X, learning how to navigate the interface is a great place to start. First, we're going to take a look around at the desktop, which is the screen you see here. It includes a desktop background, also known as your wallpaper, the menu bar at the top, and the dock at the bottom. The dock is where you'll find shortcuts to some of the folders and applications on your computer. For example, iTunes, Safari, and Finder. To open any of the items on your dock, just click the icon. There are actually several different ways that you can navigate to files, folders, and apps in OS X. The Finder feature is one of them. We'll talk more about how to use the Finder later, though. For now, I'm going to close the window by clicking the red button in the upper left corner. Let's check out Launchpad instead, which you can also find on your dock. As you can see, Launchpad gives you access to all of your applications at once, making it easier to find and access the programs on your computer. To open a program, click the one you want. Exiting applications is just as easy. Let's zoom in on the menu bar so you can see how it works. To exit an application, click the name of the app in the upper left corner. Then choose Quit from the menu. Also on the menu bar is the Apple icon. This gives you access to your system preferences, recent files, folders, apps, and much more. You'll also use the Apple icon whenever you want to restart or shut down your computer. On the right side of the menu bar, you'll find an icon that looks like a magnifying glass. This opens a feature called Spotlight, which you can use to search the contents of your computer if you're having trouble finding something. Just type what you're looking for, for example, a file or an app, and you'll get a list of search results. The last icon on the menu bar opens the Notification Center, which has been included in each version of OS X since Mountain Lion. Here, you can keep track of the alerts you receive for different applications, including events on your calendar, reminders, and more. The Notification Center can be customized to show as few or as many alerts as you want. The desktop itself is one more place where you can store files, folders, and even shortcuts for easy access. This time, however, to open an item, you'll need to double-click your mouse. Some apps have a full-screen mode that you can activate by clicking the double arrow in the upper right corner. This causes the window to expand, so you can focus on the application without any other distractions. To return to normal view, press Ctrl-Command-F on your keyboard. Not all apps support this feature, but it's available in several of the apps that come pre-installed on your computer. The last thing I'd like to talk about is using your mouse in OS X, specifically a feature called Natural Scrolling. You can learn more about how it works by going to System Preferences, then choosing Mouse or Trackpad depending on what you have. In this case, we'll choose Mouse. As you can see from the demo, natural scrolling is basically the reverse of traditional scrolling. It's almost like you're pushing the content up and down on the page. This may seem awkward at first, but it's actually how many touchscreen devices work. Natural scrolling is the default setting, but you can always disable it by checking the box here. I recommend trying it both ways to see which one you prefer. While you're in this window, you can also take a look at multi-touch gestures. For example, here's one that lets you go back and forth between pages using a simple swipe. OS X supports many different types of gestures, including pinches, taps, and double taps, depending on what your mouse or trackpad is capable of. Each gesture performs a specific task. To learn more, I recommend visiting this resource again once you become more familiar with OS X. That covers the basics. Now that you know your way around, you can start using OS X and taking advantage of everything it has to offer.